Welcome to another Sunday morning when we won't be going to a church gathering of any kind because we're, we're not allowed. Today is Palm Sunday, the great celebration of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. You can read that story, if you want, in John chapter 12 uh, and see the great excitement that people felt as this wonderful man uh, they knew of as a rabbi coming into Jerusalem. This is Holy Week and so during the course of the week we'll be thinking about this story from time to time in the different broadcasts each morning. Today I want us to think about the Jesus who came into Jerusalem but not think just about John 12 but about Hebrews 12 and to think about the phrase fix your eyes on Jesus the author and perfecter of our faith. So that's the phrase that ought to ring in our minds during the course of this Palm Sunday. Fix your eyes on Jesus. One of the great challenges with being in isolation, um, either complete isolation or going out only occasionally for walks or to the shops or for medicine or uh, living with one other person or even in a family, uh, is that you very quickly uh, lose good focus because the general rhythm of the life you once lived no longer exists. You're probably not going out to work every day as you were. You're certainly not mixing with neighbours and friends and family as once you were. And the temptation in a time like this is to get our eyes fixed on the wrong things, to fix ourselves on 24 hour news, desperate for the latest snippet of information about where the virus is going and where it's spread and has someone found a vaccine yet or, or some medicine that might help or what's going on with the provision of ventilators or protection for our national health workers. It can become all consuming. We fix our attention on the problem of the virus. For many of us, this can feel uh, quite threatening and intimidating. Or we focus uh, on uh, the surroundings that we're in. The walls seem to close in on us as we focus on our living accommodation. Or for others of us, uh, we fix our attention because we've got a bit of time on our hands now. Uh, and we fix our attention on the wrong things. Um, I don't mean bad things. I, I mean our tendency then, with a bit more time on our hands, is to interfere with pieces of work that have nothing to do with us, perhaps a piece of work that a colleague should be doing. Uh, we run the risk of giving people advice, the pastor of our church or other people, um, that they don't really want. You've never given them your advice before, your wonderful view on a particular topic that they're involved in. Because you've got time on your hands, you feel completely free now to express a view on pretty much any topic to anybody at any time. This gets us fixated on stuff which frankly is none of our business uh, and people will become irritated with us if we fixate on those things. So don't fix your attention just on the news or on your surroundings or on other pieces of work just to occupy your mind. Particularly in this Holy Week, fix your eyes on Jesus the author, that means the originator, the, the original starter of this whole thing, and perfecter or completer, the end of our faith. Sometimes Jesus is referred to as the Alpha and the Omega, the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. And so today, on Palm Sunday, fix your eyes on the triumphant Jesus. Try to avoid fixing your attention on trivia or other things around you just because you've got time on your hands. Use that time productively to focus on others, yes, and caring for them. But fix your eyes on Jesus, the most wonderful person who's ever lived, the God-man who died for our sins and for whom the whole world is in his attention span. And as we'll see during this run up to Easter, he's the one who died for us and who rose from the death. And so fix your eyes on Jesus today and be encouraged by that.